Hi, uh, welcome to this division tutorial. I'm going to go through something that I'm not sure what it's called. I'm going to call it either balloon or vertical or Lamhauer uh, division. Now, Lamhauer is uh, from the guy who, as far as I understand, invented this, David Lamhauer, who's um, a Danish special ed teacher. So, this is a version of regular division, and uh, let's get started. So, let's say, for instance, that we have the number 822 and we want to divide that number by 6. Um, now I'm, I'm assuming that you already know how to do this in a bunch of other ways so I'm going to go through this special way which let's just refer to it as vertical uh, division for now. So instead of doing what you normally do you set up the number vertically like this. And then you set up the number that you're dividing by up here on top and put a ring around it. That's where the balloon comes from. Then you draw a vertical line from it. That's where the vertical comes from. All right, so let's get started. So how do you do? Well, exactly the same way that you would do this with a normal division issue. So first step, uh, how many times does 6 go into 8? 6 goes into 8 one time. All right, and do you have a remainder? Yes, you do. You have a remainder of 2. So we just put that in front. And here's where the nice thing about this comes in. That's pretty easy to understand that 22 unlike the small numbers that you would normally use so how many times does 6 go into 22 well 6 times 3 is 18 so that's 3 times uh, 18 22 minus 18 that leaves 4 so we move that 4 down here and then we see how many times does 6 go into 42 well 6 goes into 42 7 times so the answer is 137 you have it right here and uh, we write the number as 137. So that was a pretty easy number. Let's try another one. Let's try a diff more difficult version of this one. Let's try 825. 825 divided by 6. And let's pretend we didn't do this before, because otherwise that would be cheating. So 6, we've got that on top, right? So the balloon is attached to a vertical rod or string. 825. 825. Let's get started. So 6 goes into 8. Hmm, we did this before, I think. So it goes one time still. That leaves 22. It goes 3 times. 6 goes into 22, 3 times, uh, leaving um, a remainder of 4, which we move down here. 6 goes into 45, how many times? Well, it goes 7 times in. So 7. Here's where the uh, comma comes in. What do you do with the comma? Well, we make it really simple. We just draw a line here. That line indicates the comma. So we now know that uh, 45 minus 42 is 3. And uh, we need zeros down here. Lots of zeros. Well, maybe not that many. So we always move down zeros and then we so 6 times 7 is 42, 45 minus 42 is 3, so we move down the 3, and we ask how many times does 6 go into 30? Well, it goes 5 times into 30, and there is no remainder, right? So we don't need these two. So the answer is 137 times 0.5, sorry. All right. So let's try a bigger number, because now, of course, you've realized that, well, that's easy. Those were all single-digit numbers. What do we do when the numbers are bigger? Well, you can do that as well, and it's going to start being very reminiscent of uh, long division now. So let's say that we have uh, 8,636 divided by 34. So get 34 into our balloon, draw the vertical line, put the 8,636 here, and then let's cra get cracking. So how many times does 34 go into 8? I'm going to guess that goes just about 0 times. So then we have the 8 goes down here instead. So how many times does 34 go into 86? Well, 2 times 34 is 68, right? 
Um, yeah, not going to get any more than that. So let's go with 2. So that makes 68. 86 minus 68 is 18. That's the difference, right? So we'll put the 18 down here. And then we'll ask ourselves, how many times does 34 go into 183? Uh, so 6 times 34 is going to be 180 plus 24. That's too much. So let's say 5 times. So 5 times 34 is going to be... 5 times 30 is 150. 5 times 4 is 20. So that's 170. So 170, 183 minus 170 is 13, right? So 136 here. How many times does 34 go into 136? Well, it goes four times, perhaps, I'm hoping. So 34 times 4, 4 times 3 is 120. 4 times 4 is 16, so that's 136. Hey, look at that. It, it just got perfect. So the answer is 254. So I'd love to have some comments back on uh, ways to improve this and make this even better, but I thought this was a pretty neat method. And according to uh, David, who invented this, uh, he has some very good effects with uh, people who are struggling with learning regular notation for division. So I thought this was really interesting. Hope you enjoyed it.